There's a reason why we get up and live our lives the way we live them. There's a reason that we want to dig deeper. So initially it really does all come down to why. That's fucking important. That's the stuff that keeps you on track. That's what keeps you on your path. That's what keeps you paving down the path that you want to pave down instead of veering. That's what keeps you from going stale, what keeps you humble. I ask clients, what's your why? And I get responses like, to feed my children or to give my children a life I never had or to help my family, which is great. And I believe that's your why. I believe that's a big solid chunk of why you do what you do. But let's take it a, a little bit deeper and pretend like no one's gonna be judging you for what you're saying. When I look at my why, I look at about five areas. So I spend time on my mindset, right? I spend time educating myself, opening my mind, expanding my thoughts, expanding my vision, expanding my perspective and my view on the world, my understanding of of the world and the things that are going on in it. That's important to me. So I ask myself, why? Why is it important to me that I spend time on mindset and education, expansion? Why is that important? And I will talk and write like, I want to be a well-rounded person. I want to have be able to feel empathy in situations. I want to be educated on what's happening in the world. That's important to me. So the next area is my body. So I think it's important that we go through why our body is important to us. Taking care of your body is so important. Like sure, you want to look good and you want to feel good, but like imagine the things that you're able to do because of what you do and how much you take care of your body. Like for me, I don't want to feel bad. The next is the soul. Like, let's be real. We all have these feelings inside of us. We all have these thoughts inside of us. These things, like, that you can't ignore. Like, these undeniable desires to do things. Whether it's to help people. Whether it's to travel. Whether it's to spend more time with your children. Whether it's to start your own business. Whether it's whatever the hell it may be. You have that desire in your soul. And I think it's extremely important that you allow them to be fed. I check in on like how I feel like inside, like purpose-wise, intuitively, like in my guts, like how do I feel? Do I feel satisfied? Do I feel like I'm choking? Do I feel stuck? I want to connect with what I feel called to do. The other thing is on your heart. Why do you do the things you do in your relationships, whether they're your personal relationships, like intimate relationships, friendships, family, why do you do what you do? And now this question is deep because it can go both ways. Like if you're not happy with the way you're showing up in a relationship, that will come up when you ask this question. Like why aren't you showing up? Like why aren't you being exactly who you wanna be in that relationship? What's stopping you? Or why do you put the time and effort into your husband, your boyfriend, your mother's, your relationship with your mother. Like, what does that mean to you? Like, why do you do that? So like, those are the questions that I ask myself. And the last one is the one that everybody talks about. And it is why on your business. Why do you get up every day and go to work? Whether that's actually physically going to work or that's grabbing your computer. Have you ever thought about that? Like, why do you do it? Oh, because I need to pay my bills. It was deeper than that. You'll find a way to pay your bills. Do you hate your job? Then why do you stay? Do you love your job? Then why do you do it? So say you got into this industry that you're in, whatever it may be, initially to pay the bills. You've stayed because it allows you to have the time that you want with your family. It allows you to meet people. It allows you to help people. It allows you to grow as an individual. See how much deeper that sounds? How much more rewarding that sounds? How much more fulfilling that sounds? It's important when we're thinking about the motivation and the mindset behind things to look deeper than the surface because that's where the motivation really lies. My job is not easy. But there are days especially where it sucks the fucking life out of me. But why do I do it? I do it because it's literally in my fucking soul. But it allows me to have the lifestyle that I want to have. And that's the truth. I can work from wherever I want. I can stand in line at the grocery store and literally answer emails and make deals and collect $10,000 or what the hell ever from a message on my phone because that's what I want. 
so I do my business to provide the lifestyle that I want. That's my motivation. I look at my lifestyle that I want to have and the way that I want to live, and I use that to motivate me and keep my mind right on what I want to accomplish. So the more you pull back the bullshit story at the surface as to why and get really deep as to really, really why you do it, you feel that motivation in your fucking core. And then there's no question about why you're doing it. And it's really that simple.